Here's my second tutorial on how to use the pen tool. I'm going to grab my file again, put it into Illustrator. Here we go. Zoom in a little bit. Find space to scroll over, zoom out. So when you're drawing complex curves with the pen tool, it's actually easier than you think. Click on pen. I'm going to get rid of my fill over here. When drawing a curvilinear shape, just remember you have to click at the top of the curve and at the valley of the curve. So here's the top, valley, top, valley, top, valley, top, valley, and so forth. When drawing curves, it's actually important to use as few dots as possible. The less dots you have, the smoother your curves will be. Now that I've made all my dots, I'll convert all these points. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Convert my points. And I'm not going to make them match up exactly right now. That's not too important. I just want to convert them. I'll modify them later. So I convert them all. Zoom out a little bit. And again, I'm not worrying if they match up with my drawing exactly. I just need to convert all of these first. And again, these are smooth nodes. I want them to be perfectly smooth. I don't want there to be any kinks in here at all. All right, now I'm going to use my arrow tool, and I can modify all these handles until they match up pretty close to the shape that I have. I don't need it to match up exactly the same. I just want to be pretty close. The purpose of using Illustrator is not to copy your crappy drawing exactly how it is. It's to actually make it better and more smooth than the original thing. Oops, if I accidentally grab the back, and move the whole drawing and just do Command Z to move it back. Command Z is undo. And you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying my best to line up all these curves. When you're done, it should look something like this. And again, we're only using smooth curves for this particular assignment.